the most important thing and the most important thing that I want to say we are all Muslims it is a very important thing the reason why we come in Mitchell in Mellenberg is is to listen to what the people of Mellenberg want to say for us to say what is young is for us what is out of our townships is and we are going to to hear what the pain is maar ook om te hoor wat jylle voice wil wees teen oor die regering om vir hulle te sê en vooral vir ons party die ANC te sê dis hoekom mense nie in Menburg vir die ANC wil stem nie ons wil weet hoekom mense nie is is baie mense wat seker vir die DA of wat nie stem nie of wat vir die DA gewoud het in in die area en wat ons wil weet is hoekom die grootste probleem wat ons het in die Weskaap is die onder of is die the, the division between african and colored and white in the point is arm mense arm african mense kry nog altyd swaar arm colored mense kry nog altyd swaar en wat gebeur is die arm mense veg veg onder mekaar instead van kyk na wat wat ons moet doen so die eerste ding wat ek wil sê is ons is hier om te luister. We are here to listen to what can be done. How can we overcome the pain that is caused by that line? Die tweede ding is wat is die issues? Tik wat kan ons doen om te help? Das organizations is proudly Mannenberg. They're doing a fantastic job in this area and we we don't want to in any way undermine the work they do. We want to say to the people in Mellenberg that their job is to support organizations like that which are not party political but as ANC voters we want to ask you to add your voice and to tell us what we must tell the ANC leaders what sort of president do we want what sort of president do we want to lead our country at the end of this year the ANC is going to make the biggest decision it has made in its 100 nearly 100 years of existence it's going to choose the next president that's going to lead our country now everyone here knows that I'm not a Mbeki man and I can't be accused of being a Zuma man I'm in no faction what I would like to see is a president that stands for poor people that doesn't use poor people but in it will hear arm mense moet kom toy toy nie a president that will put his voice a her voice to what happens to garment workers jobs a president that will speak to what happens if our teachers are underpaid all those sorts of questions the second issue a president that like mama delina said is not scared of tackling men like me and like any other one who stands in the way of equality for women a president that will defend the right of a woman to say no a president that will defend a woman from getting beaten in her home will protect women whether she's a woman or or male president we've gone through a situation where with hiv we've had pain and suffering there's not one person here who can say I'm a friend of the minister of health but it is tragic what has happened to her that she's sick today many many people dead millions of people infected and our country's back hopefully now we're on a new path with hiv but we cannot it's not enough for presidents to go and get tested they must go get tested and they must get tested publicly but they must also learn the science and above all they must be able to empathize with the pain that the people feel a critical thing for us to to look look for in a president is a president that doesn't want parliament to be a lap dog a president that is not scared of telling parliament this is what i want you to do but also a president that listens to parliament and parliamentarians that aren't scared of losing their job so those are the things that some of the things that i think we look in a president 
Wat vir die weeskap, die meest belangrijkste ding wat ons in die president het, is iemand wat praat oor non-racialism. Iemand wat inclusive is. Iemand wat bereid is om te sê, no African against colored. No colored against African. Ons is allemaal saam in die struggle gewees. Ons moet allemaal saam seker maak dat mense benefit van die struggle. Daar was baie mense wat nie in die struggle gewees het nie. Hulle is ons familie, hulle is ons kinders, ons moet vir hulle oorwen, want hulle kan nog altijd deel van ons wees. So die, die grootste ding wat ons van die president wil hee, en wat ons van ons ANC wil hee, wat ons wil hee, mense soos die Brian, Squatcha en so aan, moet nou luister, is that we want a party in this province that unites every one of us. And so the critical thing, the message we would like to take back and we would like to hear from you what your important message is. But the message we would like to take back to ANC leaders is where do you stand on the question of equality? Where do you stand on the fact that Mannenberg's children, Guguletu's children, are doing worse in school now than they did under apartheid? Wat gaan ons doen daar oor? So, Ek gaan het daar los, want as baie mense wat meer kan sê, en dinge beter kan sê as wat ek, ek wil hee, but what we want to ask you to do, is put your name on a list. Whenever we want you to write, we want you to write letters to The Voice, wie lees die voice is, <coughs> write letters to The Voice, write letters to The Argus and The Cape Times, write, go to your ANC constituency MP, say to them, these things that we need to work together. But we want you to become part of the voice of the progressive ANC voters network. We don't want to be separate from the ANC. We don't want to be take, take over the branches, but we want to give a space to people in the public who are not part of the branches to have a say in this year of the ANC's Congress as to what sort of president we want and what sort of country we're looking forward to. So, Mitte, Tramkasi, thank you for listening. Um, it's a long speech.